Let me be honest with you. If Blender was really bad, studios wouldn't be scared of it. And if industry software was really superior, beginners wouldn't feel so lost. So today, I'm not picking sides. I'm telling you the real truth about Blender versus industry software. And there's one thing nobody tells you that actually decides your career. And we'll get to that in a minute. By the end of this video, you'll know why studios still use industry software, where Blender actually wins, and what matters more than the software itself. If you're learning 3D and wondering, am I wasting my time? This video is for you. But first, why do studios still pay thousands for software when Blender is free? The answer isn't what most people think. Here's the truth. Studios don't choose software because it's better. They choose it because it's predictable. Predictable means the tools give the same results every time. You set a light, and it looks right on the first try. No wild surprises. This saves hours of fixes in big projects. Teams work fast when they know what to expect. A junior artist joins, learns the pipeline quick, and fits in. No chaos from random changes. Deadlines rule studios. Predictable software hits release dates without panic. Better tools might shine for one artist, but flop for a team. Industry tools like Maya, Houdini, 3DS Max, and proprietary engines are built for. Massive teams, strict pipelines, deadlines that cannot fail. When 200 people touch the same project, stability matters more than creativity. That's why studios stick with what works, not what's trendy. Studios sign contracts with hard dates, $200 million rides on them. Predictable software lets directors preview shots early and tweak without fear. Flashy tools risk render farm fires. One unpredictable node crashes 1,000 computers overnight. That's lost days and panic calls to CEOs. Pixar sticks to RenderMan and Presto. These tools are custom built but they became hyper-predictable after decades of tweaks. Disney uses Maya for modeling and animation. Everyone trains on the exact same version to avoid mismatches. ILM, the team behind Star Wars, picks Houdini for effects. They use locked configurations to ensure no surprises pop up. Blender grows fast in studios, but they customize it heavily. For example, Fox built their whole pipeline around it to make everything predictable. But here's the interesting part. If that's true, why are more professionals quietly using Blender than ever before? Blender wins in speed and flexibility. One artist can model, texture, animate, render, and even edit, all inside one tool. That's insane. Four, freelancers. Indie creators, solo filmmakers, small studios, Blender isn't entry level, it's efficient level, and that's why you're seeing Blender used in concept work, pre-visualization, indie films, even parts of AAA pipelines. Here's the truth nobody likes to hear. Software doesn't make you industry ready. Workflow does. Studios don't hire Blender artists or Maya artists. They hire people who understand, clean topology, Lighting for storytelling, animation principles, asset optimization, team pipelines. If you understand those, you can switch software in weeks. If you don't, no software will save you. So the real question isn't Blender or industry software. It's this. Are you learning buttons or are you learning how professionals actually think? Because that's what separates hobbyists from paid artists. If you want more honest 3D advice, no hype, no gatekeeping. Subscribe. I break down how real studios work, how solo artists compete, and how to build skills that actually matter. And in the next video, I'll show you the exact workflow studios look for, no matter the software. I'll see you there.